causes of brain hemorrhages. Let's take that real quick and just remind our viewers quickly what they are. There's three of them, which is uncontrolled high blood pressure, which is what you mentioned, doctor. Correct. Overtreatment of blood thinners, you mentioned that as well, and aneurysms. Uh, how common are these uh, hemorrhagic strokes? So basically, when you compare like hemorrhagic stroke to ischemic stroke, so mm -hmm. again, like ischemic stroke is the most common cause. So about if you get all the strokes, which in the United States is probably about like 800,000 a year, wow. okay? About 80 to 85 percent of those are the ischemic type. Got it. Okay. So the hemorrhagic type is really going to be about only like 15 to 20 percent of those type of strokes. Um, so basically, that's that's the split. Okay. And according to the National Institutes of Health, and I'm seeing here, there are two different types of hemorrhages that can occur. Can we talk about those? There's intracerebral and super. So arachnoid. Why did you take that one for me? I'm pretty good with pronunciation, but that one I was going to leave for him. So why did yeah. you take those two? So basically, there's actually there's a couple more types of, of hemorrhage that can happen in your brain. De depending on where the hemorrhage is, they may be classified different. But specifically about those, so you have the, the, the brain bleeds or the parenchymal bleeds, which are usually caused by high blood pressure, you know, over treatment of like blood thinners, for example. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Arteriovenous malformations can cause that, that type of hemorrhage that really like enters your, your parenchyma, okay? And it's in, your, in the brain tissue itself. And then you have the subarachnoid hemorrhage, which is basically the, <coughs> the most common type of hemorrhage associated with aneurysm bleed, right? So the aneurysm bleeds, basically what happens is the brain sips out around the brain tissue, but not necessarily inside it, mm -hmm. like damaging the, directly the brain parenchyma, but it's around it enough to cause a lot of problems and enough to be fatal too, because you know, it's a, it's a type of bleed that a lot of times causes the intracranial pressure to increase very quickly and then a lot of times that, you know, posed to be fatal for, for some patients.